can hear. <laughs> Everybody, welcome back to another video of Jimmy Does Germany. So today's video, uh, whoa, where are we? We're in Heppenheim. Uh, Heppenheim is located in Hessen, also known as, as Hesse. And uh, yeah, today we're just going to walk through this little old town, uh, take a little look. Um, it has a lot of old buildings still. Uh, this place was first placed on the map in the year 755. So, 755. And uh, I'm not sure if you can see it, but up there on top of the hill, that, we'll probably see it a little bit better later in the video, but that is uh, Starkenburg. And Starkenburg is uh, a video which we actually done. We covered Starkenburg Castle a few weeks ago. So if you have an interest in castles and you want to have a look at uh, um, how that was put together, built and all the great view and stuff and then go over, take a look at that. Click and uh, jump back onto the videos and take a look for a little playlist. And uh, yeah, you'll be able to find the castle in there. So that castle was built at 1065 or 1066, uh, 1065. And uh, it was built in order to protect this town that we're in now. So that's a little bit of background information for you. What, what we're gonna do is we're going to walk around, take a look at some of these really old buildings here. And uh, what you see is pretty much how the old towns were laid out and built. And that's how it would would probably felt like um, all those hundreds of years ago. And uh, then we're going to walk just behind here. You've got like this big old mark place where you can sit down, get a coffee and some dinner and stuff. Um, but we're not going to do that. We're just going to walk through and you can take a look at some of the buildings. But this area, I wanted to show you this. So it's all been uh, renovated looks pretty good uh, it's a museum at the moment so what happens is several times a year they have festivals and stuff here and uh, they will set the stage up or they have all their like local uh, wine producers will be here as well and you have like a big wine fest and if you see if you take a look up on hills here all of this all of that is wine so this region this whole region uh, the weather is just absolutely perfect to produce wine so uh, it's pretty much all white wine. So what you're gonna see in a minute, actually, we walk up, have a little look, and what you're gonna be able to see is actually wine growing on on the front of houses. <laughs> I think that's pretty cool um, to, to have wine growing up around the front of the house. So let's uh, let's take a little walk up here. Just like with all of these old towns, you're gonna have these small little roads. And remember, when these old towns were built, they were only built to accommodate maybe horse and carriage. So now that we have the cars, and uh, it gets a little bit more difficult to drive through here. But you will see, you still got up here. We'll take a closer look in a second. You still have all the, how they used to build the roads, all them hundreds of years ago. Them fine little cobbles. So this stuff here, it looks wonderful, it really does, but try, <laughs> try driving your car over it and uh, car, you can just hear everything in your car just rattle into pieces, but, uh, but uh, of course it acts, adds, adds to the architecture, the good feel, the feeling of these old towns. So a lot of the buildings, again, take a look, you can rub you. A lot of the buildings were built from the sandstone. And then you'll see with like these buildings, you have all this brickwork at the bottom, and then on the top you have the wood and the wood. I think I think that, that design is pretty much it's, it's called Fackberg. And you'll see it a lot more in the town here. So yeah, it's a beautiful town. Can you imagine this lifestyle? From where I come from in London, it doesn't look anything like this. So, from the south of London, but uh, it really is spectacular. What the? <laughs> it gets everywhere, doesn't it? Let's take a little look here.
so I'm not going to disturb everybody from eating but uh, yeah, you can see at the moment a lot of those chairs are still empty it's because we're in these strange situation time at the moment uh, the big sea and uh, it's good to see that some of the restaurants are opening up and the cafes and stuff. It's good to see that there's people out and about eating. And uh, it's good for the businesses. But hopefully it'll be back to normal soon. What we can do is take a little walk. Actually, let's take a look at some of the other buildings. So again, this one needs renovating a bit more. But All of these have been renovated. Now to, to renovate these buildings takes a little bit longer than normal. Um, the reason being is because they're known as fabric, they might fall under a thing called Denkmal shoots, like a protective, uh, almost like a listed building in the United Kingdom, which means when you renovate it, you have to follow them strict guidelines. Oh, cool, look at that. Look at this, it's a palm tree. Oh, what a fabulous place. What a fabulous little, little German street. Wow, let's go through here. Okay, so where are we? Ah, oh, yeah, so I saw this earlier. This is the, the what I wanted to show you about the wine. Great. So the, in the olden days, that, that would be uh, just a door that goes down into the cellar. And what you see on here, I've actually got the wine grapes. <laughs> Feels like somebody's taken a few of these ones off. There you go. That's wine, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> That's pretty cool. But. Uh, yeah, we don't need to go up there. So, I wanted to show you some of this town, Heppenheim. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of towns around here that they're all pretty much built like this, the old towns. You have all of the stonework, the really old stonework. Um, you have all of the, yeah, the fact work on the top. It's really pretty. But of course, because of the war, Second World War, there's a lot of bombing that went, went on. So um, often a lot of these really pretty places were destroyed. And then you, you would get an, a, a new building that was built next to it that looked a lot more modern. It would have been nice if they kept it with this style. But, uh, yeah, there we go. So another thing about Germany, which I think is great, is they have areas like this. So you can just walk up and uh, yeah, walk up, find yourself a book, <laughs> take, take a book, something that interests you, and take a read. You can you take it home with you, you can sit down on a bench like this and uh, just take, a, take, take a read of the book. But common courtesy is if you're going to take a book, you have to leave one there, so uh, replace it, otherwise the shelving is going to end up really empty. And this, this is cool. It's garden here. This is literally in in the town. Okay, look, you see, you've got all the park in here. It's open, and all of this here is actually, I think, it's edible stuff. So it's like, like mint, and uh, di different what are called uh, herbs. You can actually use this stuff to cook with. And it's just it's put out here in the public for everybody. I think all of these buildings here are actually government buildings. And you have your garden of rem remembrance here. So let's take a little walk up to that. It's 
So you could probably guess this was a. Uh, this is all designed and kept clean to remember the victims of of the Second World War here. Let's take a look at this. So 1914. It's the First World War, 1915, 1916. So, yeah, all of this here for the First World War, and then that one in the centre is to mark the Second World War. There we go. Okay, it was great to have you all, and uh, yeah, welcome, welcome aboard, <laughs> all the new subscribers. So, um, not all the video is going to be about visiting places. It's, a, it's all about how I'm getting on here in Germany and uh, what's new, what's happening. So, cool. It's great to have you on board, and uh, yeah, I'll catch you in the next video. Take it easy, everybody. Bye bye.